What's up, guys? Um, yesterday, we kind of made an interesting discovery that almost all of the positive trades that worked out on this sort of scalping strategy, um, almost all the ones that worked out were above 50 RSI, and almost all the ones that didn't were below 50 RSI for a long, obviously the opposite for a short. So I have a strategy that uh, I did a lot of work on that was profitable, and I decided it would be interesting to go through the historical trades that the strategy generated and record which ones were over 50 RSI for a long, you know, in the RSI strike zone, let's say, and uh, which ones weren't, and see how well that mapped on to the profitable and unprofitable trades, and see if we can get those ratios better. So, um, it's going to be a long process, but I think that's going to be one of the series we do on this channel. So anyway, the first one, we have Solana 4-hour, and this is all the trades on the 4-hour chart that it generated for last year, 2023. So let's do that. And actually, this is a different um, this is a different chart setup, so we might as well load that. Uh, let's see, I think it was RSI plus DMI. Just a second here. Uh. Yup. No, this is, here, let me pause this while I figure this out. All right, and um, something to note here is the trades that were taken were the ones that had both the oscillator direction and the right um, direction, which is 100 here, and divergence. So there's only one trade on this chart that would have counted, but we'll look at it. So let's create a column. Let's do it here. RSI, we'll just do RSI question mark. Uh, oh, just a second. We got something crazy going on. Sorry about that, one of the machines is messing up. All right, so let's take a look at 831.23. This is the four hour chart we need. Yeah. 83123. So let's pull that up. August 31. What time of day? 2200. Please work. Mm. Sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. Oh. We're there. All right. 31, 2200. Right. So this was acceptable. Um, let's call it 200 like we were on the other one. 200 meaning it's in the overbought zone. All right. So there's that. That's one of them. Let's do all the four hours. Take a look. Yeah. Let's just open, and eh, we'll do them one at a time. This is Binance Coin. So let's just highlight these, highlight those. So it would be these ones. This is a pretty good trade, pretty good one. All right, 22, 28, 23 on BNB. How uh, would I use this one? 223. 223, sorry, 228, 220. 
220. There it is. That is... Yup. That's in the good zone of RSI. RSI question mark. Let me get that alarm. Alright. So let's check that out. That was 100. Did this really not work out? Zero. Yeah. Yup. It did go down, but it came up and hit the stop loss. Alright, so three, nine, six. Three, nine, six. Technically, this is, yeah, the RSI divergence isn't there. Oh, wait, it didn't say it was. What am I doing? Highlighting the wrong things here. Yep, that's what we're supposed to do. Okay. So, really it's just this one and this one. Yup. So 330.10 is what we're looking at next. Three thirty ten. Ah, uh, yes, this one. And wouldn't you know, it is a below fifty RSI. So a non-working trade was bad RSI. So we do eliminate that one. All right. So ten twelve. Yep. 10, 12, 23. 10, 12, 23. What is it? Wait a second. 10, 12. Oh, I'm looking at 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 2, 10, 12, 2, yeah, there we go, 10, 12, 2, That shouldn't even count. Yeah, well, it is bad RSI. So, these two are disqualified. Maybe I was looking at a different chart or something. Because it's not even supposed to, with this strategy, it's not even supposed to take trades that are below the yellow line like that. But it does confirm the thesis which is kind of the point of this. All right, so mana four hour. Let's see how many we got. Okay, I did highlight these ones. So there's that, there's that, and there's that. So this is all about confirming the thesis. over here. So two five two. Two five two. Uh 
I don't know why the indicators run out there. But uh, it's 252. It looks like it's above. It might be like right at. This is at 50. I think we're going to say if it's at 50, then it's okay. RSI question mark. Maybe we'll call it 75. Yeah, I don't know, we'll just make a decision. So that's good, that saves that trade. 296. 296. It's this one. Yep. RSI is in the good range. And that trade did work out. So this is mapping onto it very, very nicely. S at least so far. 716.2. You need to do a lot more testing than this. But that's what we're going to do. 16.2. 7.16.2. And wouldn't you know it? Wait a second. Is the volume really higher? Yes. Wouldn't you know it? It's above 50 RSI. So that is a disqualified trade. Almost like I was reading its mind. Amazing. Like, this is an amazing result so far. This RSI thing is really filtering it out. Um, yeah. This is very cool. This is a great thing to discover. Yep, and that's all the trades for mana. So this is near protocol. Let's see what we got here. Um, yeah. Usually I go with the Coinbase charts. So this, see how many trades qualified for this one. We have one here that didn't work and one here that did. So let's see if RSI maps onto this correctly. I'm expect I'm not expecting this to work perfectly. But uh, so 326.6. Three twenty six six. Okay, so this is one. Yeah, so that would be two hundred, and it didn't work out, but it was a pretty small loss, so that's not such a big deal. Six sixteen. right there. So that's below 50. Yep. So this actually takes away one of the good trades. So there's an example of it not mapping perfectly. But that's exactly what I would expect. Alright, V chain, 4 hour. Yep. See what we got with VET. We got that trade, that trade, that one, that one, that one. Yep. So RSI question mark. Let's go to one four six. January 4th. I guess we gotta do this. This must not be the chart I used. Yeah, must not have been.
Yep, here we go. One, four, six. Hmm. Huh. This doesn't really fit the strategy. This must not be the chart. What else could there be? This is looking more normal. Yeah. Some of these altcoins, it's hard to find ones for. One four six, so that's two hundred, and that didn't work. Two ten two. Two ten two is right there. It's almost a break even. And that is also in the overextended territory. Yeah, this must be the chart I was using. Uh, three, one, two. There it is. Three, one, two. This was in the positive range. Came real close to working out. Let me see, 149. Yep, that is a break even. Alright. So, 26, 6, there it is, yep, this is in the strike zone as well, so 100, 5, 25, 6, five twenty five six. Must be this one. And that is also below 50. So this didn't make that much of a difference on this chart. Yep, that's all of them. Alright, so that's no change. Let's do Adam, 4 hour. Alright, so let's see, this is one, this is one, this is one, and this is one. Yep, that's all of them. Make a column here, RSI question mark, 210, 2. to look at a different chart for this one. But, uh, well, let's see if we can find it. Yep, this is the one. So that is 200. Yup, that's the one. So 618, 
22. 6, 18, 22. 6, 18, 22. Oh, yeah, this one. And that is... That is in the strike zone. Yep. Let me see here. 6, 21, 6... Yep. Yep, that's 200. And um, 7, 15, 2. This was not. So this would be disqualified. Interesting. It's still pretty good though. It's pretty good. It's three to one ratio on that chart. All right, Adam. Where are we? Oh, it's because I saved it. Great. Solana four hour. See if we're still recording. Yep. So let's see what we got on Solana. We have one trade. This is one of the early ones, I think. Oh wait, we already did this one. Yep. Yeah, we already did that one. XLM. One trade here, and that's it. RSI question mark. All right, so three twenty-seven eighteen. Let me stop the spool real quick. All right. So XLM, we're looking for 32718. Mm. So that's below 50. All right, so that's normal. Yo. All right, next one. Litecoin. LTC. Which trade are we looking for? So seven twenty seven fourteen. Seven twenty-seven fourteen, hmm. and that would be disqualified. Yep. The other two are break even, so I guess we'll look at it. 929.6. This must be a different chart, but I think the RSI value is going to be the same. Yeah, I guess this is a different chart, but that would be a break even. 
So 10, 7, 22. That's 100. Yep. Disqualified the only good trade. I guess that is interesting. Alright. XRP. So there's that, there's that, that, and that. Yep. XRP, Ripple. So the first one's going to be 126.6. RSI question mark. 26.6. All right, this would not be the right chart then. One twenty six six. Why did it do that? Uh, this must not be the right chart either. But the RSI is probably about the same. I don't know. Let's look for the real one. Let's look for Tether, I guess. Yep, this is the one. And this would have disqualified this loss. Yep. Let's just make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So that's disqualified, which is a loss. Um, four, four, six. Four four six four four six Man, I don't know what chart I must have been using. I don't know. Our size is pretty high, so we'll just say that's a keeper. Uh five seventeen twenty two. Should really start writing down which specific charts I'm using. Five. Wait a second. I was looking at the wrong one. Four, four, six. Yes, this is the one. Okay. Well, it's 200. Huh. I didn't know about the the um, oscillator switching thing. That's pretty iffy. Oscillator switch right there. All right, 517, 22. Five, seventeen, twenty-two. There we go. Yup. That is two hundred. 
Let's see if it disqualifies this one. 627-6. Oh, 627.6. Nope. We might start looking to see how well just the 100s do. Because technically 200 Another way of interpreting this is oversold, so it's looking for a reversal. So maybe that's what we'll test at the end of this. So let's do AVAX. Alright, let's see here. One, there's one viable trade for AVAX, 7, 10, 22. Seven, ten, twenty-two. Seven, ten, Seven, ten, twenty-two. That's weird. Why does it say twenty-three? Seven, ten. Let's see if we need a different chart. I guess we'll do that. There we go. 710. Okay, that doesn't make sense either. Is this. This is 22. Yeah, 710. This is not a thing I normally do. It's kind of worth mentioning. 710, 22. That is definitely in the bad zone. So, I don't know. Huh. It seems like it's taking away about as many trades that are good as bad. But, let's figure it out real quick. We're going to do a meta analysis. Meta RSI. 100. Alright. So, RSI 100s, RSI 200s. We'll open up all the documents. Still recording, yep. Open up all the documents and we will record the results for each. This is only on one time frame, so it's not that good an example. So let's, uh, all right, the 100s, this is a 200, so we'll put it there. Next one, this is both zeros. I guess let's do RSI zeros as well while we're here. So, so that'll give us a nice clear picture. We'll add these up later. All right. This was an RSI zero. This is an RSI 100. 
and this one's an RSI 200. It really might be that the RSI 100s are the, the butter zone. All right, we got a few here. 200. Another 200. Uh, we won't bother with the zero. It's an RSI 100. Also an RSI 100. Is that all of them? One. Yep. All right. So this is a 200 right here, and this is a bad RSI. So let's do the. Um, Let's do an average at first of all these guys. Average of those, average of those. So far it maps on pretty good to the hypothesis. Uh, let's see here, 200. 100, 200, and this is the RSI 0. Yep, so that's looking pretty good so far. This was a bad RSI 100. It's the only one there. So RSI zero, RSI two hundred. Oh wait, copied the wrong thing here. RSI two hundred and another RSI two hundred. Make sure we got all those. One, two, three, four. Yep. Only a couple more. This was the only. Forgot to do the things here. That's it, right? Yep. So this is an RSI zero. Still not great. These were break evens. Yeah, this is the last one. All right, this is an RSI zero, and that's 150. So, weirdly, the RSI zero kind of is doing okay. RSI 200s are really not, and the RSI 100s are doing the best. This is just one time frame. The four hour trades have half as many as the two hour trades, which have half as many as the one hour trades. So this is a very small percentage. But the thesis is kind of working here. Like that's, you know, it's making three times as much as it's losing. Minus one plus minus five, two, that's about, you know, then we have three that are working. So this was probably a valuable discovery. Anyway, that's what I got for you today. Thanks.